हेलो ऑल दिस इज डॉक्टर शिल्पी रेड्डी हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट किम्स कडल्स मदर एंड चाइल्ड सेंटर कोंडापुर हैदराबाद टुडेज वीडियो इज रिगार्डिंग कोविड 19 वैक्सीनेशन एंड प्रेगनेंसी द लेटेस्ट डेवलपमेंट्स एज फार एज कोविड इज कंसर्न वी नो दैट देर इज अ डेल्टा वेरियंट दैट इज स्प्रेडिंग फास्ट एंड द डेल्टा प्लस वेरियंट इज ऑल्सो स्प्रेडिंग फास्ट इन कपल ऑफ कंट्रीज एंड इवन इन इंडिया in view of this uh, variant there are certain decisions taken by the government of india the health ministry and uh, there are certain recommendations recommendations especially for pregnant women that have come out in view of uh, uh, avoiding the third wave and also in view of protecting our pregnant women from uh, covid the government of india has released a circular regarding covid 19 vaccination and pregnancy now it is mandatory for all pregnant women to get vaccinated against covid-19 by covaxin or covishield which is available in fact even in my patients i was telling them just in case if you can wait for moderna or pfizer vaccine to come in which have got lot of studies regarding pregnant women then it is much safer to take vaccine which has got good number of studies behind uh, uh, taking the vaccine or not but then now the current situation we have reviewed and the safety of covid-19 vaccine the covaxin and covishield that is available in india for pregnant women has been recommended very strongly this comes in view of prevention of uh, uh, the delta virus that is the delta variant that is coming and the delta plus variant as soon as possible we need to complete the vaccination process and in the pathway are the pregnant women whom till today i mean till recently the guidelines were not very clear but now the guidelines are very clear and uh, even i recommend all pregnant women to go ahead with vaccination as soon as possible it is uh, advisable to take vaccination for all trimesters including the first trimester and when you're taking the vaccination there are two categories of people in pregnancy the low risk mothers and the high risk mothers high risk mothers like the one with history of diabetes with the history of hypertension with the history of obesity with the history of anemia such high risk mothers need to take covaxin and finish the vaccination schedule as soon as possible because covaxin vac- vaccination schedule uh, finishes in a month and all low risk mothers can opt for covishield and go ahead with covishield vaccination low risk mothers are with Uh, no other uh, medical complications and even previous cesarean and rh negative mothers are also categorized under low risk so they they have an option of covaxin or covishield anything they can go ahead and in terms of other uh, uh, important things of vaccine uh, some mothers are given flu vaccine some mothers are given dip, uh, diphtheria dt vaccine during pregnancy covishield or covaxin can be taken along with these vaccines uh in another arm if one vaccine is given in one arm the other a vaccine needs to be given in the other arm simultaneously but if you are very skeptical then one vaccine and the other vaccine like the diphtheria or flu vaccine or the covid vaccine can be given 15 days apart so this can be followed otherwise both of them ten can be taken together rh negative mothers who are given uh, the the normal antd during 28 or 30 weeks of pregnancy the covid vaccination can be given along with the antd antd injection there is no contraindication for that some mothers being anemic uh, they go through iv iron injections and uh, some mothers if they are severe anemic go through blood transfusion in such cases definitely you can go ahead with covid vaccination on the very same day no need to postpone the vaccination so iron sucrose injection and uh, the blood transfusion can simultaneously go ahead with the vaccine as per the government of india guidelines currently and there are certain other small small doubts that uh, pregnant women do have uh, in terms of vaccination the schedule of vaccination is the same as per the normal vaccine protocols so it does not vary in pregnancy and if we have to talk about who has to take the vaccine yes definitely above the 18 above 18 years of age pregnant women are supposed to take the vaccine and uh, where the document has to be kept 
anybody with the antenatal record or anybody with the you know in government hospitals you have the antenatal record on that the vaccination taken date and stamp has to be written so that it is documented that that particular pregnant woman has taken the first dose and simultaneously second do second dose da date has to be given accordingly and in this context uh, the vaccination of pregnant women is accelerated and has to finish as soon as possible because the concept is the benefits of vaccination outweigh the risks so if we have to talk about the benefit of vaccination in preventing uh, serious covid infections that is more important than the smaller side effects like fever or body pains or uh, any other side effects of vaccination so it is important that you have to get the vaccination as soon as possible and there are certain important conditions like cardiac disease complicating pregnancy or epilepsy complicating pregnancy in such specific cases the vaccination has to be done in a medical college center or in a higher center or in a tertiary level hospital where care is given just in case if there is any emergency so it is important that these kind of cases have to be monitored and the vaccination has to happen specifically in a higher center and certain pregnant women uh, with history of uh, intake of ecosprin or heparin injections or any other specific medications uh, that can impact coagulation they also have to be taking the vaccine in a higher center where the parameters have to be monitored in such special situations uh, the physician who is uh, taking care of them have to be informed and taken care that these vaccinations are done under supervision so it is important that given any medical condition you have to get vaccination as soon as possible and also under observation for specifically certain conditions that i have told so vaccination has to be done for all pregnant women as soon as possible as a priority and definitely uh, opt for the faster uh, course of vaccination in case you are high risk pregnancy and vaccination can be given in first second and third trimester because these are mrna vaccines and these are dead vaccines they are apparently very safe for all the trimesters recommendations for mothers who were already covid positive is that that once you are covid positive you can take a gap of 3 months and get the vaccination done so if you got your covid uh, result positive in the first trimester then after 3 months of your covid negative result you can definitely go for vaccination process and enroll in vaccination uh, as per the schedule given for covaxin or covishield and people who are getting uh, sterilization done sterilization surgeries done they can also get uh, the vaccination done there is no contraindication for vaccine in this group and uh, whoever has taken the vaccine they just have to follow up with the uh, the doctor on a regular basis and continue their antenatal care women on contraceptive pills can also take the vaccine and there is no contraindication for not taking the vaccine on contraceptive pills so you can go ahead and take vaccination as per your schedule and you can continue your contraceptive pills as per your prescription though covaxin and covishield does not have any studies established for pregnant women but it is the same concept that what moderna and pfizer vaccines are running through it's a dead vaccine so nothing to worry as such so benefits definitely outweigh the risks so and all vaccines that are available currently are for emergency use so whenever there are vaccines that are given for emergency use definitely uh, the benefits of the vaccine are important and uh, certain pregnant women of uh, my routine checkups in cuddles we have also been counseling them about the coming up moderna vaccine that is going to come and uh, you can take the vaccines but in trim the condition is little uh, more important towards finishing the vaccination as soon as possible so i re i request all pregnant women currently who are not vaccinated to get vaccinated as soon as possible thank you